Well, it was a big day for the Catholic Church as parishes across the city held in-person Sunday Mass for the first time in months. And as Eyewitness News reporter Julissa Irizadi shows us, it was done so with plenty of safety precautions in place. Lord, it's so nice to hear people say that. It's been a long few months for Father Pat O'Brien, but today marks a new beginning. It was amazing. A new normal. I never intended to be a televangelist. But for religious leaders across the city, it certainly felt that way, as churches streamed their services for the last few months to empty rooms. We've had to totally rethink how we do things, but the goal has always been, this is not something that should stop us from doing what we're supposed to do. It has been, how do we find different ways to reach people? And if the first Sunday's in-person numbers are any indicator, it looks like it worked. It was a pure blessing today. Tammy Martin hasn't physically been to church in nine weeks. Watching mass being live streamed um, feels very disconnected, certainly not very reverent, um, and you don't have the aspect of the community. Um, today was a privilege to be able to attend mass. A privilege that she and her church didn't take lightly. Parishioners were greeted with masks and hand sanitizer as soon as they walk in, and every other pew was closed off while the others were filled with groups social distancing from one another. And rather than walk up for communion, the offering came to you. Church donation baskets were also left at the back rather than passed around. But the real difference was the presence in the room. So good to have everybody back. An experience they will never take for granted as they leave today's Mass feeling just a little more connected. Jalice Arizari, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.